All right, uh, just showing off the new wiring harnesses. They're finally printed off the uh, wire harness diagrams. And these are just for the standalone 99 to 2002, 4, 8, 5, 3, and 6 liter. Um, I printed off several different versions of it. The big one is a uh, 5 foot by 3 foot. That's too big. Uh, I mean, it's, it's okay if you want to put it on a garage wall or something, but other than that, it's kind of big. The next one was a, uh, 24, 24 by 36. It's okay. Uh, still kind of big, kind of flimsy to handle, especially if you're doing it on a workbench or something and constantly picking it up. Yeah, you, you can get them laminated. Uh, it, we'll try to make that an option to laminate them. It's kind of it's kind of pricey though. Uh, I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. Uh, here's another 24 by 36. It turned out really well, and we did this one in collar. And you know, there's a shadow in there. But everything's marked out. And these are the, just the wires that you need. This is a standalone diagram without the transmission wiring. Uh, that will be a different version that I will print off. And uh, not a lot of difference. The cost will be the same. But this is just the wiring that you need to do an LS swap. Okay. And then we have this 11 by 18 collar, and it was printed on a, uh, what was it called, a cardstock paper. And this one, I think this is my favorite. It's it's a little tougher. Uh, you can probably still write on it and make notes. Um, same diagram. And like I said, we'll, we'll end up with more versions of this later. I went and printed these off today just to see what they look like and what it was going to cost to do it and uh the pricing is it's not horrible uh, until you get into this bigger stuff and if you want to do special things like laminating but uh, the drive to the fedex place to print these off and my time getting there uh you know i spent probably forty dollars on the round trip and uh, not including the price of actually printing these papers off so what i would really like to do is uh, offer this one for i think it was fourteen dollars plus shipping uh if i can figure out a way to print them locally a little closer might be able to do something different on pricing but but there again it's i'm gonna have to find some place locally because uh if i sell one for 14 dollars and then it costs me 40 dollars to go get it printed off and delivered obviously it's not worth my time or effort but if i can do several of these send out several of these a week that'd be great uh just depends on the demand. I know there's a few people out there that say they want them. Now it's just who who wants to actually spend the money on the shipping. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. We can print off any of these that you want. Obviously, it doesn't make any difference to me. I just know that the pricing on the 24 by 36 that one's actually only going to be $25. And then I don't remember what the the big one is. Um, I wanted to say it's going to be $25 or $26 also. Then it comes in the shipping. I can ship these, but it'll be in a 3-inch diameter tube, 36-inch tube. And... Uh, that was going to be the easiest, cheapest way to ship it. I know going to California, the quote that I got was, uh, 
I believe it was $13, $14 to ship it. So gives you an idea, but I'll, I'll try to explain this a little more. Uh, what you get is information on the OBD2 port. Not a lot of wiring there. And I'm trying to not have a shadow in the picture, but all the wires, the collars are labeled. Obviously, I couldn't put the stripes on there that we needed. Like uh, dark green with white stripe, brown with white stripe. All this stuff is labeled. The fuses are labeled. This information all come from the LT1Swap.com. Uh, I started with his pinout list and worked from there, but then I went back and double checked everything with the factory GM wiring diagrams. So this is this is uh, you know the the list that you need all in, on one page to do the LS swap. So uh, obviously, what if there's any wires in the wires that are here you keep, the other ones you take out. So it's pretty good. I'm, I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. And I will do other versions with the transmission wiring. Uh, I'll definitely do one with a 4L60. And then, uh, but you know, for the 4L60E wiring, you're just, you're not removing any transmission wiring. The 4L80, I could do, uh, a diagram with the 4L80. There's a little bit of differences there. A little more programming. And uh, we could do the electric fans. I kind of advise against doing the electric fan programming. Uh, I'd think I'd do a, like a, its own standalone, like a painless wiring setup. But I, I thought about adding the electric fan programming to this also. And then we'll move on to the 03 and up uh, with the drive-by wire. So this is just the first one. And then obviously it doesn't cost anything to make any differences, changes to this. So the prices on all these will be the same no matter what's on it. Uh, the, the difference is just the size of the paper and where it's going. Um, uh, I will... Uh, try to get some options available on our Facebook page, which is uh, Divine Speed Team uh, on Facebook. And um, we'll go from there. Uh, I don't know if this is something we can end up putting on uh, Amazon or not, just to make things a little easier. Uh, our biggest struggle is just finding somebody to print it locally and ship it uh, for a decent amount because... Uh, yes, you could go out and find all this information for free. There's nothing here that you can't find yourself. But what would you be willing to pay to uh, have this all on one sheet, easy to look at? So, yeah. Anyways, let me know, and uh, I'll try to help out as much as I can.